Hey, welcome back to another episode of the Daily Log Diaries. I'm starting today off with a bit of morning page journaling in the Hobonichi memo pad. Today's topic rolls into the chatty portion coming up later in today's diary, so you'll hear about it then. Okay, so today's chatty portion of the daily log diaries is a bit of a confessional. I ended up (laughs) pulling out the traveler's notebooks last night. So this would have been the end of day four and I was just looking for something to do before bed while my husband was reading and I thought, why don't I just update these? (laughs) Which was a a bit of a mistake. Um, at the end of the day, but I haven't touched this since the 19th. Um, so I filled out just, I updated Friday. I think I had started the day in this. Um, so really I just backfilled like three days here, updated my habit tracker, set up a daily for today. Um, and I don't know if it's because I was doing this like retroactively, um, backfilling, but just being able to like doodle like this and feeling like this is what I do in this planner, I immediately felt like, ooh, more creative. Um, so then I updated <laughs> this as well and finished out this weekly spread and filled out my one log for the day. Um, so I, this is a seven day challenge. I'm immediately putting these back. (laughs) I'm not, I'm not going to stick with these, but what I did want to say, because I think that this is kind of a point that I want to consider is I am more likely to draw in these because I have a daily page and I really like drawing on the MD cream paper. So the paper is pulling me to this guy um, and then having a daily is pulling me to this guy because unfortunately I do quite like having a daily because I'm more likely to draw. 
On the flip side though, I feel like I'm getting more done in my Hobonichi weeks. I really like the portability of my Hobonichi weeks. I like that it's kind of no fuss. I know what to expect. I don't have to move a clip around and all that kind of stuff. And I have been enjoying really journaling in my Hobonichi cousin a bit more than I enjoy journaling in the standard TN. So uh, really I think what, what I am taking away from that or trying to apply in my challenge today is that I want to draw more in my cousin and in my weeks. And I think I, I struggle to draw on the cousin because I typically only pull it out in the evenings. It's sort of my like last touch point before I go to bed type of notebook. And I fill in this and then I flip to my daily page and whatever I wanna write in, I do and journal and all that stuff that you've kind of seen earlier this week. But now I, I don't know. So something I wanna do a little bit different, I think maybe I'll just keep this open on my daily page. So if I feel like sketching something throughout the day, I can do that. Uh, or I have also considered drawing in this memo pad back here uh, or just doing some doodling in these pages because I, I'm not burning through the paper as fast as I thought I would. I still have three pages left that I could use for January so I could just draw in here. I do some doodling in the weeklies as you guys saw when I did my flip but it's not quite to the scale that I would like and I really only do a few of them a week because otherwise I think the spread looks a little bit busy. So um, kind of a weird check-in I think for today <laughs> but in general um, yeah I wanted to be transparent. I did pick out my, my traveler's notebooks. I'm immediately putting them back on my shelf. I'm going to see this seven day challenge through because really I am enjoying this. I like this system, but the point I'm recognizing the gap on just after spending a few minutes with the traveler's notebooks is I'm not being nearly as creative and sometimes that's okay. Like I don't have to draw something every day, but the fact that I recognized immediately that I missed it makes me think that I need to focus a little bit more on using these two just a little bit differently for the next few days to see if I can I can make that work because I know I can be as creative in these journals it's just <laughs> balancing like do I care more about the aesthetics of the spread versus doodling so I'm either going to go crazy doodling in here or I think just keeping this open on my desk to the daily page and doodling whenever I feel like could be a good option. So we'll see how that goes for the rest of the week. Quick update on the page flags that I've been trying. These are from Daiso and I wrote on them with my pilot multiple. I think I can put the pen in the description box for you. But these are my reoccurring monthly cleaning tasks and my reoccurring weekly cleaning tasks. And the update is, is that I hate looking at them which is encouraging me to do the task. So I'm kind of in the a win is a win mindset, but uh, we'll see how long it lasts. I think today's chatty session was good for me and in general my confidence with using these two Hobonichi planners. I think I'll talk about this a bit more tomorrow because I want to explore it a little bit differently but one thing I am going to do is adjust how I'm using my weekly pages in my Hobonichi. Um, I'll show you tomorrow but I think that space needs to serve the creative outlet that I'm looking for in a similar way to how I do that in my passport traveler's notebook. So yeah, come back tomorrow. <laughs> um, but today I'm journaling with another Sailor Pro Gear Slim inked with Sailor Shikiori Midnight Bonfire. This is the Fika edition. I really like these inks by the way, but they smear a ton. <laughs> 
so I try to give myself a decent border around the edge of the paper so when I flip pages I don't reactivate the ink. 